Hello boys and girls, Helsing here and today we're going to be unboxing, building, and reviewing Mobile Suit Gundam Machine Head. Could have came up with a better name, but it's all good I guess. On the top you see it all all these clear uh, heads. I think it's letting you know that those are the ones you're gonna get. I mean, you know, depending on which one you get, they're gonna be clear. But I mean, it could just be they just wanna show you it in clear too, so I mean who knows. Well, then looking at this side, I figured it was like the NT Alex. I had the little small figure like in a box like this. I had unboxing everything set up for that, but I'll get into that after the end of this video. But anyway, it shows you what you get on the box, and I don't think it shows like you know, you know, kit form, but it says the name and stuff like that, and it lets you know what you get. I don't think on this one it does, because I don't see no names, or if it does have it, it's in Japanese, and you can't, I can't read it. So I paid five ninety five at um, Barnes and Noble. I have someone there, that's where I got the NT Alex and a few other little things. Each in your bag is your neck piece, your head, the part that connects to the V pin, base, the neck, uh, the body portion of the, um, you know, the thing, kit, and then you get the V pin. What we also have here is in the bag with this little thing of instructions, which shows you how to put all the main pieces together and it shows you all the pieces you can take off and put back on if you wanted to see the machine parts itself. And then on the back it just gives you some little more a little bit more details and things like that. Alright, well that's it for the unboxing portion of this video. I'll go ahead and take the stuff out of the bags and start putting it together for you. Right now we got the, all the stuff out of the bags now. Uh, go ahead and show you the parts so you can see them better, just in case you didn't see them very good in the bag. This is the beef pin. The head. Kind of looks weird from the front. The body portion. The neck portion. I thought this was part of the beef pin, but it actually is part of the head camera. Kind of hard to see it because you know it's clear, and then your nice little base to it. Now right, let's see if we can get all this stuff off. Show you the mechanics of the kit itself. Top of the V fin. Could show you this part, the side of the head, left and right. Oop. The back portion of the side, the front part of the side. Same thing for this side. And you got the face. It doesn't look like you can take that off. So we'll go ahead and put all these pieces back on. So it seems like, before I continue on this, it seems like you can take it, if you see back there that nest peg, it looks like you can bring it out a little bit. But we'll go ahead and just leave it the way it was, um, though. We'll put these parts back on. Hmm, this part's kind of hard. I think I have it upside down, that's part one. Yep, that's why. I don't know if I'm really doing all this on the camera or not. I haven't really paid no attention to the camera. Then we 
go ahead and put the crown back on. Make sure we put it on the right way. And it looks the same thing it looks like with the other one. You can move all that stuff back if you wanted to. Go ahead and put that back to the front. Go ahead and put the camera on. Gonna do all this on camera, it's kinda hard. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Take this off and all, um, DDP, and then we put the V fin on. Hmm, get the V fin on, it's kinda hard. So that little beef is a little easier to pop back off. Just attach the head, the neck. Oops. Make sure we put that on right. Really don't need the instructions. Really, it's self-explanatory. That's right. There we go. Our little, our little dudes put together. While we got into this little thing, I'm going to do the little review on it. The neck, you, know, you can't really do nothing with the neck. I mean, the head can go back that far, look down that far. So I can't look back at none. Turn the head to the left. To the right, and you're basically just looking forward. Whoops! There it goes. You might want to have to pe glue these pieces together. I mean, they don't have to move, so why not? And I guess that's about it. I mean, there's not really much I can do about a review, really. I mean, it's just a head. I wish I could do more. But uh, like I said, I don't really like. I don't. Maybe I didn't say it. Uh, that's probably like my fifth or sixth take of trying to do this. I really don't like clear Gundams or mobile suits. I think they're dumb and redundant. redundant. Um, probably did a word wrong, but it'd be alright. Um, I mean, like for these, just these heads, I can, you know, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I mean, it's just a head, so it's uh, all cool with that, I guess. Um, this is probably about my second review of a kit. Uh, I've had so many unboxings. I figure, well, you know, I have pot, instead of just unboxing and stuff, like, hey, look, this is what you get. Now I start doing reviews. I have this other kit that I'm going to review after this one. The way I don't do this because, you know, I might say I'm going to review this one next and not do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Move this thing, use this back. Bam. Um, so, 1 200 scale um, 8CM Pro. I bought this at Hobby Wave. It wasn't ever going out of sale, going out of business type thing. And you could probably still buy some kits from them. Just check them out, and you might be able to. Uh, I know trying to get activated on there was kind of a pain in the butt. But would you do it? It's fine. It just took about like a month or so for them to finally send all my stuff I ordered. So just a little bit of warning on that. Since you're going out of business, you know, it might take a little while, a little longer than what it probably normally did for them to send you stuff. But we'll get into that one a little bit later, though. Uh, this kind of be like a little update too of why I haven't. I mean, thing is, like I was starting to, I was gonna get to you know mood to post, 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 post because I had three, four, maybe five. I think it was four unboxings ready, and I was gonna do reviews for them after I got the kits put together. But then the laptop that I had them all on decided to crap itself and it doesn't work no more. And then what? One that had already done and put on my external hard drive, I couldn't activate on this computer. Or I can, but it says the, um, it won't load the video or nothing like that. It gives me um, Adobe Premiere, go to Adobe Premiere, and it'll be all in red, and it'll tell me all this other stuff. And then, 
so I couldn't really do my videos. Um, but I've had a couple of days off, and I finally got around to doing a video of, um, as of late. Um, so hopefully I do some more videos, and hopefully I get back in the mood of doing them because I got after all that happened, I just stopped being in the mood to make videos, and I haven't been in the mood to put none of this stuff together or anything like that. I have a lot of kits and backlogs I've been wanting to do. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see that I have the uh, G Armor. They come, they had a reprint of it, I think. And I got it, and then I got um, another one, the GC, I think it is, Gundam. And a few other ones I need to unbox and review and stuff like that. But I won't put the unboxings up until I get the reviews, um, ready, until they're ready for reviewing. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. If you leave a like, if you like the video, rate, and subscribe. I'm at five right now. I'd like to have a whole lot more. I really like that this is a personal, you know, job. And uh, when I was at six meg, that was my internet speed. I was at six megabyte per second. It uploaded by like 12 hours. But now I'm down to three. It takes about 24 hours for one video to load up. So I might, while one's loading up start loading up another video to where I can constantly get them out and hopefully this computer don't decide to break on me. But alright, well that's it for this video. And I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Rate, like, and subscribe. Later.